So, oh, that's that sounds so good to hear. You can tell him that if you think it'll be a nice thing to hear. It, he, it will definitely boost his confidence because he doesn't get a lot of compliments. But other yeah. than me, <laughs> I, 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 I cherish peacefulness. Uh, oh <laughs> no, same here. He's definitely like my peace. That's at awesome. All times. Like, if you were to meet me three years ago, you would not like me to be honest. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm not the person that I was three so years ago. So together, you guys have just grown in peacefulness. Like, yeah, just well, like, like he was, he was mostly like more patient and like peaceful person when yeah. I like. Uh, Okay. When I met him, but for me, it's just um, I kind of grow grew up in a broken home, and it was consistently like very negative. Got it. So I kind of grew up with that within myself, but then I kind of broke that. But sometimes it's like triggers. Yeah. That can happen, but I don't acknowledge that I'm realizing now more than ever I need to work on those things, which can be hard on a lot of people to acknowledge but it's a it's okay to acknowledge these things because that's how you can only get better version of yourself i think it's among the most important work anyone can do and it's hard right, right? It and is. you have to constantly be checking on yourself right yeah exactly and i'm not it's not like we're, he also understands that i'm not perfect he's not perfect yeah. and nobody will ever be perfect so yes. at the end of it it's just if you're willing to want to like keep fighting and having that patience with that other person that you so love and adore and you when you say fighting you mean fighting for, for the peace yes, yeah yes, yeah not like no not let's actual, fight. like no no but no, fighting because it's yeah, an inner no. fight you have to like break through like you said you have to break through and mm -hmm. it's not easy it is it <laughs> <laughs> it's so much harder than the day job right like it's, no, it's it really, the hard work it really is like i rec I, I guess i'll go in the nick recently we had like a really rough bump in the road that mm. made us like go more at home like staying at home and taking care of ourselves and making sure we're not just focusing on group rides and like not taking care of our relationship it kind of felt like we just were like going back to back to back to not just group rides but like also errands and like me going to work there was no time for me and him time so got it now that we've been like focusing on that more often, I feel like it's definitely like that's helping good. us more. Yeah, that's good that you noticed that. Yeah, well, because some people don't notice yeah. until it's too late. They're like, "What happened?" <laughs> no, seriously, <laughs> it, it's it's a scary part to lose someone that you really do truly care and love for. So yeah, like, after being with him for almost six years, you kind of live and learn. <laughs> I get it. Is it okay that this is all on, on recording? Yeah, I do know. I like to share pe with people the, that peaceful inner journey. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm hoping people can learn from this conversation. Uh, wait, where do you put it? On YouTube? YouTube. It's oh, called True sure. Zero Emissions. Okay, I consider it like my journal. It's real messy. I don't care. <laughs> Think I of it as a journal and you'll be okay. Be like, I okay. follow my uh, nephew on YouTube and he's the same way. He okay. like, puts stuff on on it like just because i do have comments turned off because i just am not good at dealing with the negative comments even though most I of them are positive get that. yeah i'm just like I it's triggering that. you know it's, what i mean it's not okay like, no it's not so people can just, be very mean you're having a good time you just want to sh expose yeah. this to people that are, can't have it easily that's right EOCs are expensive yeah. not a lot of people can afford that true, true, true. like not just that but a lot of people don't aren't aware of this exposure too. That's right. So you're yeah. exposing a world that yeah. a lot of people would never be able to get to. Yeah, to it. me this is a true zero emissions technology. It's low uh, emissions. Literally true zero emissions. Yeah, the words true zero emissions. So Z E R O emissions. I don't have any uh, signal data. Yeah, That's but okay. I'll, I'm Just gonna save screenshot the words. it. Yeah, no, and you'll know when you see it because you'll see an infinity symbol. Infinity symbol. Yeah. Okay, like sounds good. Blue. That sounds wonderful. Alrighty. All right, then it's a really gonna, good talking yeah, with you. Yeah, I was gonna head out, but it was good seeing you, uh, Joseph, Joseph. Right? Yeah. yeah, thank you. Uh, really quick, do you want to take a picture together? Yeah, yeah. You want my helmet on? Yeah. Okay. okay. Look who I ran into. <laughs> oh shit! There you go. That was cool. Awesome. I'll see you on the next one, Joseph. See you on the next one. Have a good day, Vanessa. Thank you, you too.
Okay, break's over. Let's go ride again. Oops. The strap always it comes out easily. I need to put something on the end here so it won't do that. I'm gonna do that. Like, put a piece of Velcro right there so it just stops. Like I put here so it won't stick to the to my jacket. It likes to stick to the jacket. Vanessa is definitely a much more skilled rider than me. I think she's been riding much longer than me as well, I think. Which makes a difference when someone's been riding for a while. That can gives time to build the skills, right? <clears throat> okay, I have no idea what time it is, but I do have a limit today. So I got my bell here. And I have my my horn and alarm here. Is this upside down? It sure is. I can't believe I put this on upside down. So I have to flip this over because the top button is unlocks the, the, the alarm and the bottom button locks the alarm. That's why I need that to be the correct way. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's power up. Let's power up the time machine. I've gone 5.2 miles so far today. I'm gonna turn on the light to help increase visibility. Meaning, when I say that, I mean increase uh, the ability to be seen. Okay. Okay, so when I'm getting on the electric unicycle, I notice that I will step like this oftentimes. And when I do that, it's because I'm checking to see if the wheel is up is straight up and down but when i thought about that i thought this leg is going to tell me the wheel straight up and down right because if my foot's all the way in tight my my hit my uh the heel of my foot is all the way against the euc right and then this part my calf is up against the euc it's straight up and down. I don't need to walk and hop forward a bunch of steps. So right now I'm gonna to try to just get on. This is what I'm thinking right now. It's, it's like an experiment, it's a thought experiment. See, it worked. No hopping and hopping and hopping. Because I'll hop like six to 10 steps. <laughs> and there'll be people behind me in group rides and they'll be like waiting for me to get on. <laughs> Which is nice, but. Okay, let's have a peek at the time. Wow. So I really have to head back in like probably 20 minutes. Start heading back. But it was nice to see Vanessa here. Vanessa rides in the in the group rides. And I highly recommend everything that, that Vanessa talked about in the groups. But those groups because it's a great community. Very supportive community. And I may start heading back early just so I'm not late. But let's go a little further.
English was excited. He was giving me thumbs up and and the, his expression was kind of like, wow, you're really doing it. Like I just got that, that feeling. That I, riding an electric unicycle definitely is next level in every physical way. That's why I say that the military at all levels, when I say military, I mean all the forces, all of them. Special forces, Air Force, Marines, Navy, military, everyone, everyone could use these for training. And I highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. And as a consultant, uh, I can recommend to you Roger EUC who sells the Roger Chargers and Marty. I would recommend those gentlemen because they're really, really, at the, I would say to me, they're at the center of the electric, electric unicycle community. They're, they're really knowledgeable and can direct you of any special questions you may see over there do you see that it's hard to tell what the camera sees because I think the camera is a wide-angle lens which means it pushes everything up here to be further away and it's also smaller but that was that's the Griffith Observatory over there I'm working on the sound situation as a top priority so please forgive the bad sound right now and I will repeat everything I've said today probably several thousand times in future videos because that's just what I do, I repeat myself a lot. I've been doing it for my whole life, actually. <laughs> and at best, I add new material to that which I repeat, and I refine that which I'm saying. And I invite all of you to join the journey of self-discovery as it relates to true zero emissions. And I want to recommend for people that like nuclear energy or that are interested in, in nuclear energy or that dislike nuclear energy, I would like to recommend uh, Nuclear Hot Seat. Now, I don't know if it's .com or .org. I don't know which one of those it is. But it's Nuclear Hot Seat. Definitely uh, look into that. Observatory. Here's a great view. There's the wings. I like those wings.
and riding an electric unicycle feels like flying truly let's go down here we are Griffith Observatory <clears throat> Seeing this place reminds me of something I read at Pasadena Public Library, Central Library. The assembled souls of all that men hold wise. That's written on the Pasadena Central Public Library. The assembled souls of all that men hold wise. There's a lot of quotes on that building that are truly and mind expanding, I'll call it. There's the Hollywood sign over there. So right now the links, which this is the electric unicycle I'm riding, <clears throat> is set to 1.5 degrees leaning forward, which I feel like makes it really easy to go at higher speeds and feel stable. But I noticed that when I ride backwards, if I want to ride backwards, it's better to put it back to zero. And I haven't tried this, but maybe going, leaning it back would make it easier to ride, would make it easier to ride backwards, possibly. Okay, I don't want to ruin their photo, but I got to cross this. I guess I could stop. Should we go backwards? Nope. I think because the unicycle is is uh, leaning forward, it's a little more difficult to ride backwards. I've noticed that. <clears throat> but as I get better and better at riding, I think that could change because I feel like I'm still a beginner at some.